Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Crisis on Infinite Earths. We've got some new photos. There is a lot of them. I think there's like 24, 25. We got to break them down and talk about them in today's video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so we are approaching 100,000 subscribers really soon. So we're just under like 300 subs away. So please be sure to share the channel around, share the video around so we can try and hit that. And obviously I'll be doing some stuff once we get 100k. But also I just really quickly wanted to mention the fact that there is going to be some events coming up that I'm going to. Yes, they're in the back half of the year, you know, past January. But I thought I would tell you because they do sell out very fast and... Like, for instance, I'm going to the Ultimates, which is a Supergirl mainly event, but it's called Elseworlds this year. There's more people from other shows. Melissa Benoist is there. Kyla Lee's there. It's going to be fucking massive. I cannot wait. I booked it as soon as I saw Melissa was there. I've seen Kyla twice, so that wasn't, like, a big thing because she goes to the Ultimates every year, so I know I'm going to see her every year. But as soon as they got Melissa, I was like, I'm going. So that's in Birmingham in England this year in May so guys go there we're gonna be there some other youtubers are gonna be there but also the big thing obviously is Melissa Kyla and loads of other guest stars are going to be appearing also we've got maybe heroes and villains I'm not sure if it's running this year but it, if it is it's gonna be February time and I would definitely be there if it is running also we have in the summer the big one I'm going back to Comic Con this year San Diego Comic Con 100% going back, Paigey's there, I think we're going to be staying together, which is going to be kind of crazy, and, you know, hopefully, like, Eric can come and lots of different people, so, if you are going to go to any of these events, let me know, because I'm going to all of them, and I'm super, super excited for the upcoming year, but anyway, let's stop rambling, and let's break down these photos to do with Crisis, so the first photo we have is inside the Wave Rider, this is for hour three of the crossover, I do believe, so, this is in fact the Flash's episode, so we're in the Wave Rider, and who do we have here? We have Barry, Iris, I think that's Ryan Choi in the background, we'll talk about him in a sec, but you can barely see whoever that is in the background. And then we've got the two Supermen as well, then we move on to the next photo, we've got a photo, a single photo of Iris, and then we've got one of Diggle, you know, nothing too much to break down in those. Same with the Monitor, the Monitor's on the ship, so he's obviously meeting with them all, he's having some sort of, you know, talk to them, being like, yeah, this is happening right now, you know, you have to consider this is the third episode in, so he's not just, like, warning them for the first time or something like that, they are fully in conversation about, you know, what's happening right now. Okay, so it is Ryan Choi, you see him back there, he is the new version of the Atom in the comics, I don't know if he's going to be in the TV show. But we've got Black Lightning as well, we've got Barry, we've got Superman, obviously Brandon Ralph, and we've got Elongated Man. Kind of excited to see Ralph in some of these photos. Obviously this is the Flash's episode, that's why Ralph is in it. And it's just kind of exciting because he's not really crossed over that much. And I dig Ralph, I, I like him. And, you know, even though I wasn't a big fan at first, he's grown on me over the years. Okay, so we got Ralph in this next photo with Barry and Brandon Ralph Superman, Kingdom Come Superman, again in the Wave Rider. Most of these are in the Wave Rider, so, you know, bear with it for a sec. And we got the Monitor standing next to Superman and Iris. So it's very interesting that they are literally all crowded around and the Monitor's literally just like a part of them talking. Also, Pariah's in this shot, played by Tom Kavanagh. He's in the same room, so obviously... That's a massive link to the monitor, they're definitely going to be working together, and Black Lightning is there as well, you can see in a separate photo as well. Then we go to another angle, again, just like the whole team, Barry, Pariah, Elongated Man, and Superman, the Kingdom Come version. So just, you know, kind of a repeat of some of those past ones, we got a single photo of normal Superman, and we move on, we have the confrontation that we saw in the trailer, with Pariah and Black Lightning. This is seemingly the first time Black Lightning comes into the crossover because, you know, he is just in the trailer reveals that, you know, why do you want my help if you've just told me what's going to happen to my world? So it seems like he's coming in just at that point in the Flash's episode. And then we have this photo. We've got Earth 90 Flash played by John Wesley Ship. He's returning in this crossover, I think, just for this episode, or he could be in, you know, maybe the Legends and Arrow episode as well. 
and so we've got Killer Frost and Cisco, and Cisco is in his vibe suit. That is very important. I've talked about this in the past few videos I made on Crisis when we've got the shots of Cisco in his suit. But it seems like somehow he's going to get his powers back. That's going to be very intriguing. So we're in this underground base still, and we've got Earth 90 Flash with Black Lightning, and so it seems like. They're having a confrontation, but also it seems kind of friendly because at this point they are shaking hands. So I wonder what's happening here. But we got this nice photo of Earth 90 Flash, played by John Wesley Ship, as I keep on saying. But we got Cisco in his vibe gear. He's got his vibe like blasters on. What are they called? Gauntlets. So it does seem like he can actually use his powers. Maybe the monitor grants him the use of his powers for Crisis because he is that powerful that he probably could. So he's got his glasses on, his goggles on, and he's there face to face talking to the monitor. And so we got this shot of Cisco in his vibe gear. So obviously, same gear. Seems like he's going to have his powers back. And we go back to the Wave Rider. Or in fact, it could be Star Labs, but it kind of looks like the Wave Rider. Whatever, it doesn't matter. And we've got Batwoman here. Very exciting to see that. But also, we've got Lex Luthor. And what's happening in this, it looks like she is, you know, nudging him up against the wall. Well, more than nudging, you know, shoving up against the wall. And it seems like, you know, she obviously has been told by Supergirl about Lex and about essentially warning her about Lex if he, you know, shows up. I don't know. But she definitely knows about him. Let's just say that. So Lex is returning. And then we've got this photo. Probably one of my favorite photos of this is the team up between Batwoman and Supergirl. It seems like they got the Book of Destiny once more that we talked about in the past. You know, that was in Elseworlds. So they are together. Excited to see them back together because I really dug them in the last crossover together. And so we've got the return of Lex Luthor. He is in this Crisis episode and he's reading some sort of book. It does actually look like the Wave Rider, now I think of it, definitely does. And so he's back, he's going to be working with our heroes, and it's going to be very interesting seeing the dynamic between him and Supergirl, considering that they're not going for each other's throats. Very intriguing to see that. And then we got Supergirl and Batwoman, and they are again in the Wave Rider, they're in like the main room, you know, the headquarters, they put the book down. And this is just so freaking exciting, like, seeing them together, it's just one of those photos, like, you know, when you see a team-up photo, like, they've been releasing recently, you just get so excited, and, like, when you see the trailer, like, last night's trailer, if you watched that video last night, I was freaking out over that trailer, I'm so freaking ready for this crossover, and this is just another exciting one, you get to see Supergirl in her suit, Batwoman in her suit, obviously she doesn't have the hair, you know, the Batwoman hair on, or anything like that but you know they're just talking and then we go on and we have again in the wave rider it seems so it seems like a decent chunk of the episode of the flashes episode is going to be in the wave rider so maybe legends heavy although in these photos there is no legends which is very intriguing and so we get this photo of supergirl in the wave rider and she is staring intently it does look like this is in the same place as she's talking to batwoman very, very excited for this scene specifically and, you know, just to see Supergirl on the Wave Rider and see Batwoman on the Wave Rider, see Lex there, you know, and everyone interacting, the monitor being there, which is going to be crazy. So, yeah. Then we move on to the final two photos and these are of Oliver Queen and it seems like he could potentially be back on, like, Leon Yu or something. I don't know because... That's the impression I first got when I saw these photos because it very much so looks like he's a bit worn down and everything like that. However, it could just be him in his suit without his mask or anything. But I don't know. I get the feeling that it could be Lian Yu. Maybe they're going to ask help from like Deathstroke or someone. I don't know. That would be crazy if it was. But yeah, John Diggle was in the background and he's obviously going to be helping out with Oliver as per usual. Then we go on to the last photo and the last photo is basically the same, just a slightly different angle of Oliver. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see room.